Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to get anything you want in just three simple steps. This is actually really easy once you get the hang of it. We tend to have this idea that everything has to be harder than it really is. We tend to erect these giant walls that we have to get over. We make these the even simple things into monumental challenges when it's absolutely unnecessary. We live in a world today where through the internet we have access to just about any resource we could possibly want. I mean, if you think about it, we have access to two things that, that are just completely unheard of compared to the rest of human history. And that is, number one, we have access to just about every person in the world. We can easily reach uh, almost anybody through the internet, through social media. So any people that we need to network with, whether we want mentors, whether we want customers, whether we want business partners, they're all available for us. And then the second thing is information. We have access to whatever we want to learn. You know, if you want to learn how to rebuild a, a transmission, like you can learn that on YouTube. If you want to learn how to build a company, you can learn that on YouTube. You can learn just about anything you could possibly want. It's right there on the internet. So we have all the tools that we need. It's just a matter of knowing how to use them. And so that's what I'm going to show you how to do in this video. Okay, now before I get into the actual process itself, there's a little bit of groundwork that we need to lay here. There are a few things that we need to establish in ourselves if this is going to work. First thing you need is a positive attitude. You need to have faith that this is going to work. You need to have faith in yourself. You need to have faith in the nature of reality. And of course, uh, ultimately, you need to have a faith in the creator of the nature of that reality. Otherwise, if you go into this thinking that it's not going to work, then yeah, it's probably not going to work. If you go into almost any endeavor with the attitude, with a negative mental attitude, the kind of you're visualizing all the ways that it could not work, well, chances are you're going to fail. You have to keep that positive mental attitude. You also have to be willing to work. You have to be willing to put in some effort. This isn't one of those things where you sit around dreaming about what you want and it just magically comes to you. Uh, you know, I think there's a lot of truth to that worldview. However, you have to be willing to take the action. The actions that you need to take might come to you, but you need to be willing to actually go and implement them. So you have to be willing to put in some effort for this. You also have to have humility. Once you start down this path, probably you're going to realize that the stories that you've been telling yourself about yourself aren't entirely true and aren't as favorable to you as, as you would like them to be. You're going to find out that you're not as much of a hot shot as you thought you were, and you're going to have to make peace with that. You're going to have to recognize that in some areas you are absolutely at level zero, and you have to start from there. Right? You're, you're not going to be a hot shot. You have to start from the beginning. You have to be a white belt before you get to being a black belt. And you're going to have to realize that you're going to have to be in the low position compared to other people who are in a higher position than you for a certain amount of time. So if you have a big ego, that's going to be a huge burden on you. That's going to hold you back. It's going to make it very difficult to learn because in order to learn, you have to admit that you didn't know. And then the last thing is patience. You have to be willing to wait a little while because it's not going to happen overnight. This is a process. You have to be willing to trust the process and wait for the results to materialize. Okay, so with those things in mind, here is the three-step process. Step number one is to get clear on what you want. Now, this may sound obvious, but a lot of people do a really crappy job of this. A lot of people spend their whole time and their energy focusing on the things that they don't like. Right? The things that they don't like about their boss or about their job or about their spouse or about the house that they live in. And they're constantly focusing on the things that they don't want instead of focusing on the things that they do want. So I'm saying here, focus on the things that you do want. Get clear on the things that you do want. A lot of people are so unhappy with the surroundings that they have in the moment that they don't even want to think about what they do want because they're afraid that the, the contrast is so great between their current reality and where they like to be that they, they don't even want to put their minds there. So I'm saying, you know, even if it takes a little bit of courage, even if this is something that's not normal for you, it's not customary for you, take the time to figure out what you actually do want. And go deep on this, too. If you have an idea, you say, I want a big house. I want a fast car. Um, I want to have the corner office at work, you know, whatever it is, then ask yourself the question why. And I've talked about this in prior videos, but I'll, I'll go over it in real quick again. Ask yourself, why do you want that thing? 
And then ask yourself that question a few times. So you want the corner office maybe so that uh, your coworkers will respect you. And then you can ask, okay, well, why do I want my coworkers to respect me? And maybe it's so that you can feel loved. Um, and you know, if you go deeper into the whys, then oftentimes what you'll find is that the thing that you thought you wanted to get you towards your deeper values isn't actually the best vehicle to do that, or at least isn't the only vehicle to do that. And you might be able to, to get a lot clearer on what you actually want if you know why you want what you want. And so once you've done that exercise for everything that you want, everything that's really important to you, you have a, a baseline understanding of your values, then you want to visualize it. Visualize what it looks like for you to have this ideal lifestyle that you would like to have. Feel the way it feels to have this lifestyle. Imagine little details about it. Actually, do this often. Like, I would do this every day. Um, go and spend at least a couple of minutes every single day just imagining yourself in that ideal lifestyle and just noticing little details about it. Noticing how it looks, how it sounds, how it smells, how it feels how you will act in that situation, how you will feel emotionally in that situation, etc. Immerse yourself in the experience. Okay, so that's step one, is to get really clear on what you want. Now step two is something that even fewer people actually do than step one, and that is what I call a notepad meditation. And what you do for this is you find a quiet, calm, relaxing place where you're not going to be interrupted, and you set a timer for 30 minutes. And so I do this, I set the timer on my phone, and I put my phone on airplane mode, so I'm not gonna get any calls or text messages. If you live with other people, then ask them to leave you alone for the next 30 minutes. It's really important that you're uninterrupted during this time. Bring a blank piece of paper or a, a blank notebook and a pen with you into the room, and don't have anything that might compete with your attention. Just be you and a pen and a piece of paper, that's it. And then. Once you set your timer, you're going to quickly visualize the thing that you desire. Now, you don't want to have a whole bunch of things that you desire, maybe not a whole movie of, of this is your perfect life, but think about one particular thing that you desire to attain and quickly visualize that and immerse yourself in the experience, you know, feel how it feels to have that thing. Just a minute or two, that's it. And then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to pray and you're going to ask God to show you how to get the thing that you are trying to get. And you don't necessarily have to pray to God. You can pray to your guardian angels or you can pray to, or you can even just ask your own subconscious mind. You know, I have my theories about how these ideas come into your head, but as long as you're asking, then the recipient of your requests isn't going to be too concerned whether or not you really understand the, the nature of how these ideas are coming to you. So just ask. Ask what you can do to get this result that you want to get. And then sit quietly with your notepad in front of you and your pen in your hand. Clear your mind. Wait for the answers to come to you. And when ideas start coming to you, write them down on your piece of paper. And, and don't worry too much about whether the ideas are good ideas or bad ideas. Don't try to judge them in the moment. Just let the ideas come to you and write them down. Now this might feel awkward at first. You might sit there and stare at your blank piece of paper with no ideas at all for a few minutes. And that's okay. You know, the, the point is don't worry about it. Stay in that relaxed, receptive, open position where if you can accept new ideas when they do come to you. And the point of doing 30 minutes of this is that it gets you well past that, that first few minutes that are awkward, those first few minutes when you probably can't think of anything. And so when you finally do have an idea, even if, if you think it's stupid, even if you think it's a terrible idea, go ahead and write it down. And you'll find that the ideas start to flow. And by the time you get towards that 20 minutes, chances are you'll have a whole page filled up with ideas. And again, remember, you have to have that positive mental attitude. If you start getting into a negative headspace with all oh, this doesn't work, this is frustrating, then, then that's going to be a self-fulfilling prophecy, right? If you start getting in that headspace, then it's definitely not going to work. You have to recognize that there might be a few minutes where nothing comes to you, and that's okay. Now, as for the ideas that are coming to you, there, there are two types of ideas that I find most often. Number one is ideas of actually what to do. 
But then just as often, I get ideas of where to look for what to do. For example, I did this recently with, I wanted to improve my YouTube ads. I had some YouTube ads that weren't working as well as I'd like. And so I sat and did my notepad meditation. And one of the things that came to me was just go watch a bunch of YouTube ad tutorials on YouTube. And, uh, you know, that, that wasn't the direct answer. It wasn't saying, oh, here's how you have to change your ad settings. The answer that I got was, hey, here's the resource that's going to help you. And lo and behold, I went and did that and came up with a whole bunch of great actionable steps from that. So it may be that you get an idea of the actual actionable step to take. In some cases, it may be, here's where to look. Here's how you can find more information. So you do this for your full 30 minutes. When your timer goes off, then you can, you can stop. You can continue if you want to. I mean, if you're on a roll and you're having a whole bunch, whole bunch of great ideas, then you know, there's no harm in continuing uh, until, you know, until you run out of ideas, until the session is done. Feel free to do that. Just hit stop on the timer and let it go as long as you want. But whenever you've, you've reached a point where you're satisfied that you've had a productive session and you have everything that you want, then just remember to thank God for all the ideas that he's provided to you. Recognize that you've been provided with the things you need. Like the Bible says, seek and you shall find. Knock and the door shall be open to you. So make sure you give due credit. And that goes back to the point on humility I was talking about before. You know, it's really tempting to think, oh, I'm a genius. I had all these great ideas. Well, not really. I mean, if you look at it objectively, you sat down quietly and these ideas came to you. They came from outside to you. So give due credit. And then the last step to borrow the words of a very wise philosopher is to get her done. That is, you want to actually implement the steps that you came up with in step two. And if you came up with a whole process, you came up with a whole series of steps, then of course you just want to start with whatever is the first step. But you want to start taking action. And it, you know, it may be that you came up with this whole high level process, because that's the purpose of the, the notepad meditation is to see this from a 10,000 foot view. And so it might be part of step three where you actually say, okay, this is how I'm gonna divide it into little bite-sized pieces. And so figure out what that first step is and then do it. And so that's it. That's the whole three-step process. Now, this is something you wanna do more than once, right? I would recommend that you repeat this regularly. I do this every week. Uh, specifically, I do this every Monday. And so if you can commit to yourself to doing this process weekly, or you could even do it daily if you want to, but commit to some regular schedule of doing this and you will be amazed at how fast your desires move towards you. So that's the whole process, but I also wanted to throw in a little bonus step as well, something that, that serves me really well when I'm kind of feeling discouraged, when I'm, I'm stuck in a rut, maybe I'm feeling lethargic, maybe I'm not really getting a lot of ideas myself, and that is to find content to books to read or, or videos to watch or podcasts to listen to find something from somebody who has already achieved the thing that you want to achieve find content with them talking about how they went about achieving it for me this is super helpful for motivation because for somebody talking about something that they've already done, they talk about it in a way that it seems so easy and you get sucked into that reality of, of oh, this is easy to do, I could totally do this. And chances are you'll learn a lot of good strategies along the way, but the point is not even for the strategies, the point is just for the motivation. And actually a really helpful action step you can take is to lay out a list of those materials when you're already feeling motivated. Because it's hard to kind of go out and search for those things when you're in that, when you're in a funk, when you're not feeling motivated. But if you can come up with a list of those materials when you are feeling motivated, when you are feeling resourceful, you can come up with a list of books, uh, a list of podcasts, a list of videos on your favorite video platform that that you think would be helpful just list those somewhere and then when you're feeling less motivated then you don't have to go search them out you already have the list and you can just watch the the videos on the list or, or read the the books on the list so i hope you found that helpful now one thing i've noticed it's kind of funny is that almost anything that you could want to achieve involves marketing in one way or another and so i think that you know if you're if you're kind of wondering where to go next then one of the best things that you can do 
is, is start by learning marketing. And one of the best ways that you can do that, in fact, the way that I started learning, was through the ClickFunnels One Funnel Away Challenge, which is a 30-day course that really immerses you in the world of marketing. And not just you know the kind of academic marketing that they teach in colleges that was outdated 30 years ago and is only really relevant to big corporations anyway. I'm talking about the, the marketing that's actually working now and is working for individuals and small businesses. So if that's something you've ever had any interest in, then I would totally recommend that you start there. I'll put a link in the description. You can sign up for that. It's called the One Funnel Away Challenge from ClickFunnels, which is a marketing software. It's very reasonably priced because basically they're hoping that, that they can get you in the door with the course, but then they'll sell you their software on the back end. So it makes it so it's really, uh, really an amazing program for a low price. So check that out if that's of interest to you. If you like this video, please hit thumbs up. It helps me a lot in the YouTube algorithm. Hit the subscribe button and the bell icon beside the subscribe button so you'll be the first to get all my new videos. Share this video if you think it would be beneficial to other people around you. And if you enjoyed this video and one of the things that you would like to learn is how to make money, how to get rich, I show you in this other video how to do that in more specific detail, which again is actually really simple because again, we have all of the resources at our fingertips. So check that out if that's something that's of interest to you.